We've gotten a number of calls here just this week on 2,4-D exposure to non-enlist cotton uh, here in West Tennessee. Um, and judging by the calls and some of these fields I, I've walked, some of that exposure is due to tank contamination, but a good bit of it appears to be drift from one turn row onto the other. Um, and uh, this really kind of what gives us a chance to emphasize again stewardship. Um, if the wind is blowing uh, towards an extend cotton field and it is very sensitive to, to 2,4-D, either in list 2 or in list 1, we cannot spray. It's, it, it, that's just plain and simple, just cannot spray. We have other options there. Uh, Liberty of glufosinate is a very good option. Use it. That's, that's what really the bottom line to, to this whole thing. Uh, in walking some of these fields with, with these growers, they're very concerned with the damage, 2,4-D damage they've seen on their extend cotton. Um, what we saw last year with, when we had some instances where we had some 2,4-D injury on extend cotton is it did go ahead and yield very well at the end of the year when it was drifted on in that early stage as 2, 3, 4 leaf. So it has a still very good potential to yield, provided it does not get drifted on again. So I would really emphasize for, for growers that got their cotton drifted on to contact their neighbors where they think the 2,4-D drift came from and tell them they've got a problem with drift and that they cannot afford to be get another exposure of 2,4-D to that cotton. Uh, one is going to be bad enough. We do not need a, a second uh, a drift event on that cotton. Uh, there's other alternatives uh, on your enlist cotton. Is Liberty is a very good alternative. Use it. Uh, and bottom line says right on the label on page four, if you have a sensitive crop downwind, do not spray. That goes with enlist, uh, enlist duo, enlist one, and enlist cotton as well as in extend cotton uh, with dicamba products. So follow that label.